with the Delta variant and the insufficient vaccination rate, uh, the summer season and school about to start, uh, they consider this to be the perfect storm. Uh, so to continue to minimize any death and suffering in the fourth stage surge, LDH is recommending all individuals take precautions. Once again, all people vaccinated and unvaccinated should wear face masks while indoors. All businesses should review their operations to accommodate employees in a way that reduces unnecessary contact to avoid the spread of COVID. Um, all people should take a COVID test immediately after a known or suspected exposure to COVID-19. That's even if you are vaccinated, uh, you should go take uh, a COVID test. Uh, if positive, uh, they should immediately isolate themselves. Uh, and then if it's a negative, they should retest within five to seven days after that post-exposure. And if they develop symptoms of COVID at any point, they should uh, test and immediately isolate themselves. The reason they want vaccinated and unvaccinated is because of the uh, how contagious this the new variant is. So if you have an exposure, uh, they're recommending that you go get tested. Um, just a little, few little facts here. 92.7% um, of the COVID cases reported last week were among not fully vaccinated people. Uh, I'm stressing the not fully vaccinated because if you, people think that if you just get one dose that you may be okay. Uh, people think that if you had the COVID and you have the antibodies from the COVID and you took one vaccination that you're vaccinated, that is not true. You need both doses of the vaccine in order to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated. 90% uh, of the 1,000 people who were hospitalized Friday in Louisiana were not fully vaccinated. So change that to 9 out of 10 people in the hospital are not vaccinated. Okay. Um, and then 91% of the COVID deaths reported last week were among not fully vaccinated people. So 91% of the people that passed away last week from COVID. I don't have that number um, in Louisiana, but I do know that they weren't not fully vaccinated. Uh, we're getting calls about, well, if I'm vaccinated, why do I have to wear a mask? Um, and if people who aren't vaccinated, if people are vaccinated and they're getting the virus, why should I go get the vaccination? Please remember, guys, the vaccination is only 94%. Uh, has a 94% efficacy. In other words, it ain't 100% that you're not going to catch the virus, okay? But there is positive proof to show that if you are vaccinated, you have less chance of dying and less chance of having a hospital stay uh, if you do catch this variant. Um, so uh, I just would like to stress that uh, on the weekend of, let me see here, the weekend of August the 7th, uh, there will be a large vaccination event from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Dumas Auditorium. Uh, they will have uh, Pfizer, uh, and it will be available for uh, children 12 and above. And then they also will have the Johnson & Johnson for those 18 and above. The vaccine is free. Okay, there is no cost to you, uh, so please try to come out uh, to the Dumas Auditorium on the 7th. Uh, I think there will be some other um, uh, medical uh, facilities there doing blood pressure checks and other things also at, that, at the auditorium. It is my understanding, Mr. Harding, that um, at the Mechanicville Gym that same day, they will have an event from noon to 4, am I correct? Mr. Harding? Yeah, it, um, it's going. The event is from uh, noon until three, uh, but the auction is uh, um, actually a made agreement to be there uh, from noon to four, and that's representing representing that side on uh, uh, August seventh uh, from twelve to four uh, within that range, and actually uh, the uh, August seventh, twenty twenty at Dumas would be from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, there are a number of other people, test action. Um, we have Turbo and Generals in association with us, uh, Home Housing Authority Start Program, Council on Aging, uh, the Public Health, and we have these flyers. Hopefully we can get out to the people that's coming from the Health Department, even have scanners on it. Uh, hopefully we'll get these out to you, and I thank Earl for uh, all his uh, efforts and uh, actually part of the staff and actually help us out. Clerk, uh, 
clerk staff helped us out with this. But we are trying to get the vaccination out there, and it's actually rather timely for us to do so, and I appreciate the efforts. Thank you. Mr. Darren Guidry? Uh, yeah, Earl, what did you say the percentage of vaccinated people in the state of Louisiana? The, va the percent of vaccinated in Louisiana right now is at 36%. Uh, uh, so 36% are vaccinated, but yet in the state only 10% of the cases that we have are vaccinated people. So obviously the vaccines work and we have one out of three <laughs> is vaccinated and one out of 10 are the number of cases that we're getting. So yeah, and, and to follow up on that, Mr. Guidry, um, we've had 27 deaths from people that have taken the completed the vaccine and have died from COVID. So out of 10,915 deaths within the state of Louisiana, 27 of those were fully vaccinated and have deceased. That's only a percentage of 0.25% of those that are vaccinated that have deceased. And of course, we don't know which vaccines that were taken because I think the some are only 65% efficacy, some are 95, depends on which ones. So we don't have those numbers as well. But the vaccine is definitely uh, working and, and I encourage people to get the vaccine so we can get rid of this thing. 